Welcome, welcome to my channel. This is Clarity Empress, the Empress of Clarity, here to do another collective energy reading for my collective. Please remember to like, click, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up the video, let people know that you like it. Also, uh, comment in the comment section. Let me know if you resonated with the video. All right, so what well, I should say the message is, right? Um, I've already prayed. I already shuffled, but I continue to shuffle throughout my videos. So, bring me a message for the collective. Somebody is burdened, y'all. Somebody is bearing the cross. Somebody is burdened. Tell me more, please. Oh, somebody's heart is behind the lock and key. Tell me more, spirit. Somebody has a key to somebody's heart. They want to communicate. Tell me more. They have a choice to make. Spirit said, I'm here. So, spirit is telling me that whoever has a choice to make. The challenge is to go, if they're at a crossroads, so the challenge is to go a good path or a bad path, and they know that there's a major difference. Like, they're, they're, these two might mirror each other, but one is significantly better than the other. But it's still a choice, right? Luck. Luck is on somebody's side when they drop. So the past energy... Somebody has a burden and their heart is, they're going through an understanding, right? That that key represents the understanding. And so it can unlock someone's heart, somebody's love. The writer is here to give you a message or to take a message or to transport a message. And then you got this mask is represent, uh, this double mask is representing Someone uh, being themselves um, versus being the fakeness that they could be. So, you know, this might be somebody who does not, they don't, um, they may not know who they are, right? They could be a people pleaser. So they put on that mask with certain people to behave the way they're expected to behave around those people or to match their vibration but maybe not expected it just could be well this is what they do so this is what i'm going to do and then they have this other mask or i should say the removal of a mask which is the other personality right it's the difference so then there's luck on their side with the likely outcome is there some type of luck on somebody's side? So somebody may, may be experiencing releasing of a burden, understanding their heart, uh, wanting to send a message out to somebody, um, challenge with the, do I wear the mask or do I release the mask or do I change course, do I, do I behave differently? And then the luck is on their side. Overall energy is the owls, which represents eldership and wisdom messages. So I feel like somebody is trying to get advice on what they should do next. So they, they can have a proper understanding about their next move or how to progress this situation along. Somebody is probably now listening in a way that they didn't listen before. You know, I feel like this might be somebody young. Who just, you know, I feel like young, stubborn energy. Like, I got it. I know what I'm doing. Okay, oh, okay, OG. Okay, elder, or whatever they call it, you know. And they just did their own thing. Until now, they're like, hold on. What did you say again about that situation? You know, it's, you know, when you're younger, 
you can be a very hard headed because you think you got it. You think I, I understand. I know what I'm doing. And then you get a little older and you realize, wait a minute, what was that elder telling me that day? What did that OG explain to me? And you, and if you have the opportunity, you, you tend to want to revisit it because you want a clarity on, you said. And then, then you want to understand it. So, for example, my elder said to me, let a fool be a fool or be a fool too. And I'm like, hmm? He said, one day you'll understand, baby girl. Don't even worry about it right now. Just remember what I said. Let a fool be a fool or be a fool too. So I was like, I'm packing it one day in a situation. And I slowed my brain down and, he, and I thought about it. He said, let a fool be a fool or be a fool too. And this reminds me of a conversation I had with somebody today who was arguing with someone who was committed to misunderstanding them. And that person, in, in fact, was being a fool. Um, they're kind of sucked into a situation they believe is going to pan out a certain way, but they're being scammed and they won't listen to anybody. They think everybody is jealous of them. They're being foolish. And you, you, no matter, no matter, no matter, no amount of talking to them and explaining to them, this is not safe. What you're doing doesn't make sense. It's going to deplete your money, you are being scammed, they're not listening and you can't stop them. They're heading down a train that no one else can control. It's like a, a, a train that's being derailed. Tell me more about the burdens, spirit. Oh, so there's a family issue where there's a lot of burdens. Could be parents, could be siblings, could be the entire family. But there's someone experiencing some family issues that burdens them. Tell me more. Yeah, somebody's unlocking their heart because they're ready to take a different route. Tell me about this uh, messenger here. Oh, somebody now has a loyal heart. Uh, they want to now give it to a situation uh, perhaps that, it, well, they're taking a different route than what they were given into before. Somebody's changing course and they want to talk about it. Tell me more. Oh, yeah. They more, somebody, they might find a little difficulty in this transition, but somebody's transitioning with, with a new decision. They're transitioning. Tell me about. Oh. And they're seeking a divine feminine. I need to cover this up. I don't want no problems, y'all. Bottom of the deck. Okay. Spirit said no place like home. That's it. So. Take out resonates. Gender doesn't matter. Right. But there's someone here who is burning by family situation. Now, they could be married. This could be their blood relatives, but they're burdened by family situation. That is weighing them down. They have a choice to make. They have a clear understanding of what unlocks their heart, who unlocks their heart. So, this is somebody who fell in love that maybe they didn't intend to fall in love, maybe because they were dealing with that family situation, but they fell in love nonetheless, and now they want to traverse back toward the person that they fell in love with. They want to take that trip. They want to uh, mend the fences, mend the bridges. You know what I mean? And then we have uh, the rider. So this person wants to send a message of loyalty. Maybe they want to be consistent now. Whatever it is that they need, they, they want to come toward the collective, right? And what their biggest hurdle and challenge is moving on from that duplicitous energy where you the person either uh, would pretend to be something they weren't to people please. So your your person, I think, I feel, Spirit is telling me, I don't think this is you, so I feel like this is your person. They're very duplicitous, duplicitous in their energy. And that means they kind of waffle back and forth. 
whoever they're around, that's what they're going to morph into. And then when they're with you, there's somebody else. But the luck, the blessings are with you. I also feel like this person chose wrong in the past because, you know, I feel like they're being directed not just by emotions, but I feel like the advice that they're getting is to go home. If you were home, they're being told to go home. Put this other stuff aside and go home. You know, your person um, could have made a bad choice in the past and it's worn them down. So if you came into their life before maybe they married somebody or had a kid with someone or just re-engaged in that relationship, they're now burdened by that decision because it's not panning out in a good way. It's not coming off the way they want. They desire you. You are this divine feminine that they have the hots for, you know. They're really enamored with this divine feminine. And they feel lucky in their presence. So I feel like you may be an earth angel and that, you know, a lot of good blessings come your way. You could be a queen of pentacles, which means you know how to manage money. You know how to find money, get money, do what you need to do with money to, to add stability to your life. So you may not be a rich person, um, but you're rich in resources and opportunities and chances and, you know, you keep going. And I feel like your person is like, I want to go home. I want to go home. And they're talking to elders trying to figure out how do I get home? All right. What, what, what else? Oh, let's, let's pull some tarot on this. I feel like your uh, person is missing you um, big time. Like, they desire you. So this person might be having sexual fantasies about you, dreaming about you. You've been intimate. This person is thinking about the times that they were intimate with you. And how lucky they were to have you in their life. You know, your person is like um, thirsting about you. You know, they're just thirsty. And it's like, I, I need a replenishment. Uh, I want to come home. They're being divinely directed and guided home. So this could be elders. It could be ancestors. But they are being toward, pushed towards you. And they see you as home. Tell me what. Tell me more about this burden. Whoa, whoa. Okay, yeah, they want to communicate. Or there's movement. Oh, the movement could be moving out. Tell me more, Spirit. Yeah, you know, I feel like your person was and currently still is a little unchanged. A bit manipulative and perhaps a liar. This King of Swords in reverse. They're not, I mean, I, I also feel like they're head over heart, but not in a good way. Meaning they really need to be heart over head or balance that out, I would say. And it's not balanced. Your person wants you and desires you, but they can't necessarily come toward you or have you if. They're in this King of Swords energy. Tell me more. Yeah, so there's an ending. With the death card, it brings endings and new beginnings. So I feel like your person is putting to bed or to rest this impoverished feeling that they have about not being around you. The lack of communication. Or they might not want to remember how they communicated with you in the past because it could have uh yes we got two kings here underneath i mean in reverse so it could have uh caused your your king to lack self-confidence 
be honest and truthful. So your person wants to bring heal into a situation, but this king of wands is giving somebody that is lack lacking confidence. I feel like they lack confidence, like they lack uh integrity. Especially when they have that mask on, but I feel like that's changing. But they are, in, if they're in a King of Wands, reverse energy, King of Swords energy, and reverse, this person is lacking a lot of integrity in their action. But Spirit said that it, there's a death to that right now. And they want to communicate that. Because now, not only that, they want to heal the situation with the temperance in reverse. I mean, temperance upright. Okay, so your person is getting advice from elders because they've been in the mindset i don't know what to do that's all i can say i mean all i can hear is that i don't know what to do how do i do this i don't know what to do i don't know what to do i don't know what to do so your person um you have a person here that's a bit clueless um of the right steps to take to gain your trust, respect, honor. Yeah. Yeah, you're um your person knows that you're a blessing and they want to heal it with you. But I, I feel like they get I feel like they go from getting good advice to bad advice to good advice to bad advice or they keep overthinking the advice that they get. Like maybe that's not the answer or yeah, that sounds good, but no, my person not going like that. Or um, you know, like the constant rumination, flipping it back and forth, shut it, um, constant back and forth in their mind not owning this situation, not taking a chance, a little scared, but they want to. They really want to, and then they're being advised to. I don't know if they get signs of synchronicities and spirit is pushing them to come towards you, or is it that there are real people in, in their life that are saying, listen, you need to go back home. I don't know why you're out in these streets, or I don't know why you were so-and-so. Because you had it good when you was with such and such. You know what I mean? I feel like there's a bit of that going on. I don't even think it's so much of gossiping. It's people coming to this person direct and was like, what are you doing with your life? Like, why are you playing? You need to end the nonsense and go be loyal to your person. Go heal that. And I feel like that's what they come, they're coming to do with this clover divine feminine and this temperance card they want to heal it they want to make it better they want to feel lucky again they want to feel special again with you but they they definitely have to uh smooth some things out with uh whatever's going on in this family situation they're gonna have to talk it out they're gonna have to walk in integrity they're gonna have to uh mature especially with this king of wands and this is king of uh swords this person needs to mature they gotta grow up you know when you are in that inverted energy of a, two kings this means that you're more a child like a petty you know your person could be very petty oh i just heard they might have felt like they didn't need you at some point but they do they realize that they do they know who you are they know what you're about. They feel like they need you, but they're being hard-headed and stubborn. You are no place like home. The home is here, and they're being advised to come home. Uh, but I feel like the other thing is they're not sure they can come home, meaning they don't know if the locks is changed on them, if everything's the same, is it intact. Uh, will they be able to come back? They don't know. But they do know 
whatever loyalty they had to this family situation, that's got to change. That however they treated you, that's got to change. They know that. If they don't know nothing else, they know they got to grow. That's why the temperance is here. They know they got to grow and they know they got to heal. Tell me more, Spirit. Yeah, you are the king, queen of wands. And maybe they're burdened by the way they treated you. Mm -mm. Yeah, and they also burden over this breakup. See, you cannot be in con con um, competition. Lord. Yeah, you might not be in competition, but you might not be in communication with this person is why they want to talk. Um, they're struggling over this breakup. It's got them in their head a lot, in their heart. Thank you. They, um, they know they have to release something that they've been holding on to. Maybe that loyalty to that other situation. But they know they got to release it. Tell me more. Yeah, and that's part of the challenge. They have to release the stubbornness and they got to release the situation. These strings don't bind anybody. And I think this person is more aware of their circumstances and they got to let it go. Tell me more about temperance, spirit. Yeah, they need to heal it. They need to change their loyalty. They, oh, man. Because right now your person feels punished with the six of wands in reverse. They feel punished by not being able to communicate with you or being broken up with you with this two cups in reverse. They see you as somebody punishing them. They they don't want to um, be out of contact with you or be out of your life. So I would say your person is very disappointed, to say the least. But they left you in a state of disappointment as well. And maybe they see you healing and moving on. So they kind of like... I got to go, I got to go show up, I got to heal it, and I got to be consistent with this hierophant. <laughs> they know they need to be the one to come uh, step up for this divine feminine. Yep, your person wants to come home, but they feel, but they also feel like um, you are mad at them. So you may not take them back and they may not have this resolution or uh, reconciliation that they might want with you. So whatever they're going to do, I, I, I'm going to say this with this particular reading, whatever your person is going to do, they're going to do whatever it takes. With this temperance and this hierophant is telling me they and, and this luck card, they're going to do whatever it takes to come back. Home. Yes, they feel punished, but I feel like your person is about to show up real different for you. Not the same person that you thought you knew. Um, they see you as a light. You are an inspiration to them. They're saddened over the uh, breakup or the, the lack of communication. They want to release the things that they were committed to. They know they have to change who they are, who they present themselves the world to be. And they got to come out of their head. They got to be less stubborn. Take it out. It resonates. If it don't resonate, don't take it. But your person, is he, they want to heal this situation now. They want to show up different in, in your life. I hear music soul child uh, teach me how to love. So I feel like this person, you might have been trying to teach them how to love in the past. And they weren't listening. And now they're ready to listen. Now they're ready to talk. So take it out resonates. If it don't resonate, don't take it. But you know your story. You know your person. And you know if they're worthy to come back in your life. Or give a shot to make it better. You'll know. Trust your intuition, your gut, and your guidance. If they're not meant to come back in your life. They may try, but they don't have to be because that is your choice. Please remember to like, click, share, and subscribe to the channel.
Peace, y'all.